Just give me a reason to get Now the part of the blue team member as we take a look again at the ending of this matchup. Clear shot across the skull. You saw the blood gushing out. Very great win in the matchup tonight. Congratulations to the Orange team. It was none other than Voler Squad. Voler Stupid Rocks and Voler JJ Rocks. They advance into the finals here in the Rainbow Six Siege Tournament. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Gaming Weekly Showdown presented the anticipated matchup we've been waiting for over the past couple of weeks. The finals of the Rainbow Six Siege Tournament to determine which team will be the Rainbow Six Siege champions for the first time in this community's history. While well, in a game side, I'm Adrian Matt alongside with John, a.k.a. Sun Trudeau. And John, this is a match that we've been waiting for for quite some time. I can't wait to see how this match turns out in the end. I really can't, Adrian. I honestly cannot as well. In fact, the TGW fans have been waiting for the conclusion of the matchup. This is embroiled here tonight, but it's the Volar Squad up against Furious Masters team as we come to the conclusion of this physical and yet violent Rainbow Six Siege tournament matchup for the finals for the championship. And Furious Master, Germ Funny, and Obama Eat My Lemon up against Volar JJ Rock, Volar Bear, and Volar Pig representing the Volar Squad, of course, the orange team. Nine minutes and ten seconds and counting, and I cannot wait. Let's talk strategy, though, John, as you can see a shot there from behind. Let's talk strategy, though. If if you are the orange team, what are you going to want to do to try to pick apart the opposing team right now and check out, oh my, this match to be able to break down early. Oh, really? Oh, of course, and what's the strategy, though, in your mind? Um, these days, I see a lot of meta abusers, you know, in Siege, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see whether or not uh, either team will ab abuse the meta and use that to their advantage. Well, they could be using a lot of advantage points. In fact, the key to victories, as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, but remember the rules, the first team to reach up the three points will be winning this entire tournament and become the champions. We talked about the strategy, of course. You're going to have to try to group up together as well. But let's talk about the confidence rating ending all over the game skills. Pound for pound, one of the toughest teams in TGW history is the Fuller Squad. We have been seeing this team in action over the past few weeks. Fuller Pig, we saw him, of course, before in TGW as well. He is absolutely incredible when it comes to gaming on Rainbow Six Siege, along with his partner roller JJ Rocks, who have been dominating every single round, looking to become a champion for the first time in TGW. And speaking about the champions, for the first time in TGW history, we're going to be crowning Rainbow Six Siege champions. So a lot of the psychological warfare is coming to this matchup, considering the fact that this is the first ever TGW Rainbow Six Siege champions. Remember, everyone's going to remember. So Adrian, the first there's a lot riding anything. on the line with that too. You know, of first course. championship ever. Everyone's excited to win. Everyone's furious to win. Yeah, speaking about Furious, remember Furious being in the blue team, obviously uh, trying to repel and propel any plan to come into fruition right now. And a little bit of a point right now, look at Volar Pig, who's already trying to stir the opposing team right now. Again, JJ Rocks and Pig still alive right now. And again, I gotta ask you, John, we talked about the strategy, of course, moments ago, but what about the psychological warfare? As you mentioned, there's a lot of frustration in this matchup. There's a lot of pressure and suspense, nerveness now to get it a build. Does Absolutely. that come into play in this match? Oh, it's most definitely going to. With as much pressure as there is with the first championship ever, everyone's going to be just trying their hardest and perhaps even com completely blindsided with pressure, unable to actually focus properly. Well, of course, and we take a look at the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to the Orange team, representing the Volar squad, and it's only just perhaps maybe a matter of time before the Volar team is going to take it home tonight to become champions. They have been, of course, waiting for this moment for quite some time. We're getting set for the next round.
The suspense continues to build, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second round after moments ago. The Orange team picking it to the first point there. We're continuing on to the finals of the Rainbow Six Siege Tournament. Adrian Matt and John A.K. Sun Trudeau at game side here tonight. And I'll tell you, this is interesting because Furies' team did state that they know they have a tough task ahead of them, but they will fight no matter what as opposed to the Volder squad. I'll tell you, these people have been so confident. They said that they are more than ready to be champions here tonight. Who do you think is going to be champions, though, in your estimation? I'm not sure. Even though they've already won a single point, that doesn't mean that the other team can't you know, c come up from where they're at right now. No, not at all. And we've seen it so many times in the past, as you can see right now, three versus two at this point in time. We've seen it over the past couple of weeks, and I love the point that you just made. Again, despite the fact that the first point went for the Volar squad, the orange team, that doesn't mean that the well, blue team is out of the bag here. 2v2 at uh, this point in time, folks. Volar, JJ, Roxo continue to methodically continue to stalk the opponent right now across the hall, getting eliminated, though. And it's one versus two right now. Volar take those in a peculiar situation. Consider the fact that he's the only one standing in his orange team. Going back to your point, though, this is the turning point of the matchup, John. On. Because remember, the orange team picked up the point moments ago, but that doesn't mean the blue team's out of it. In fact, the blue team's now picking up the momentum here. Who's going to become the sure team looks like blue team's going to get this next pick. point. Perhaps maybe the blue team will get the next point. You're right. And Volar Pig, though, is going to have to try to think methodically as well. As we saw moments ago, JJ Rocks was again trying to pick apart the opponents. Pigs is doing the same thing right now, going upstairs, trying to look for more opponents. The face to face style that Pig has. Pig has this absolutely incredible. Oh, wait a minute. The matchup is going to break down yet again here, and Pig realizes that this is just a frustration pivotal moment in the matchup. John, i got to ask you, though, when it comes to this point, when it's very, very silent, and you have no idea where your opponents are at, what does this mean? Does this again creep up into the mind for especially Volar Pig, who's alone in this matchup? Does that creep up and actually begin to play mind games in this match? When, when, in a situation like this, where you've just succeeded, and now you're all alone against almost an entire enemy team, things are going to get extremely frustrating extremely fast. And you're going to most likely mess up within seconds. One yeah, small and extremely misstep, frustrating. You're right. and you've lost. And that may have been the downfall for the blue team right here, right now, as Volar Pig was able to knock down Obama Ain't My Lemon, and you were right. One fall misstep. In fact, if they're able to just mess up, one mess up can indeed well, of course, turn the momentum for the opposing team. That's exactly what's happening right now. Volar Pig looking for the, uh, the uh, of course, other opponent now. And the question is, who's going to gain the upper hand of this matchup? We've been seeing so many teams battle back and forth over the past couple of months as part of the TGW Rainbow Six Siege Tournament Championship for the first time. Who's going to become the champion? Who's going to be taken home? We saw the Volar squad, though. They've been dominating left and right. But right now, it looks like the blue team have taken, well, at least they've taken control of the matchup, despite the fact that Pig took down Obama. And you can see Pig is going to be using his drone. Much like he said moments ago, this drone for purposes only, is to try to at least locate your opponent without getting at least attacked. With only two drones allowed with, within these games, you know, you, you gotta be able, you gotta focus on not getting it destroyed. You can't just throw it in there and it gets destroyed and shot, and then you've lost your ability to gather information now. And Volar Pig, like you said, is trying to get some information as opposed to the blue team. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we're only spectating the orange team. So we have no idea where the blue team is at. But perhaps maybe the blue team also playing mind games. You're going to have to try to play mind games to the opposing team to try to get your opponent out of it as this teammate is zoning in right now with this drone yet again. Only two drones, like you mentioned. This is the second one here. Volar Pig realizes that he is in a moment where he needs to think outside of the box to try. Oh, wait a minute. He saw the opponent right now. Objective. And oh my. This matchup here, yet again, is continuing to break down. Look at Volar Pig, though. Volar Pig is mocking the opponent, now burning the opponent down and out. I'll tell you, that was a way to win a round. Did you see Volar Pig? Take a look at the replay right now, John. Feel it's at home, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Volar Pig was mocking the fallen opponent, and at this point in time, it was flawless victory for the Orange team. Congratulations to these winners here tonight for the round. And, folks, I'll tell you, it's only just a matter of time as we take a look at the MVP, Volar Pig, of course, becoming the MVP of the matchup. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, it's set. Congratulations to the Orange team. They become the team champions for the first time in TGW history. These are your Rainbow Six Siege champions. Volar Bear, Volar JJ Rocks, and Volar Pig, who was the MVP of the matchup. They were battling. They were scratching, clawing to the top of the mountain to reach to this moment to try to get the upper hand. And they got it here tonight. Congratulations to this team champions. They are known as Volar Squad. Squad, folks, but tonight they are also known as the Team Rainbow Six Siege Champions. 
John, that was absolutely incredible. It really was. And now we have our first ever champions. And they're... I just hope that they don't let this go to their heads, Adrian. I really do. Well, hopefully not. But I'll tell you, these are great competitors. And speed about competitors, you do not want to take away any credibility away from Germ Funny, Obama, Eat My Lemon, and Furious Master 4. These three competitors were battling and fighting so much here tonight into this matchup. But it was not to be as the Orange team, the Volder Squad, picked up the victory. And I'll tell you, we are absolutely stunned at the ferocity, the ferocity and quickness from the Orange team. I mean, from the get-go, they won the first round, Adrian, and they just continued to keep on winning, even with, you know, odds stacked against them like that towards the end. Absolutely. The Orange Team, a.k.a. Volder Squad, now known as the Champions, were able to disable the Blue Team. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely incredible tournament. All in all, we would like to take this opportunity to thank all the great TGW fans and members who participated and watched this tournament just a, just a couple of months ago when we first started. I'll tell you, John, this was absolutely incredible. And tonight we crowned champions for the first time in TGW. What a way to end the tournament. Congratulations to the Orange Team. Fuller Squad now becoming the champions. So this all began last year when we got involved with Jackson's community because of the spamming issue. Eventually, we would all make up and be friends. But um, but as months went by, I noticed people like Slasher 360 were mentioning me and making fun of me. Then there was an issue with my close friend and my ex-girlfriend. And all of Jackson's members came in, stuck their nose in my business, and made fun of the situation instead of helping it. Um, but not, on, not only that, but then they kept making fun of TGW. So um, th this is only being made, made so the public is uh, aware of what that community is all about. And I, it isn't all Jackson. We're only saying Jackson's community. Because that's literally the name. But people like Swazer, Anna, Jackson, and others, um, they're literally making fun of everything. It's it's messed up, and honestly, they, they don't deserve to get support. Yeah, I've been in the Discord for weeks now, and I'm a witness. Jackson's community keeps igniting the flames, and we're sick of it. Like, they need to just back off, because they keep bullying us, and honestly, we can't stand them saying crap like that. I mean, we can't, we can't just stand it. I mean, so we're going to stand up and fight back. So first off, this is more of a personal story. When this first happened, I was like, what? Really, dude? So, Jackson and his friends pretend to be hackers, and they all threatened me at one point. Jackson said that they were lying until he said that he was going to actually hack me. I was like, what? Like, really? And he ordered me to do, like, things, and, and I was, and I really thought I was going to get hacked. And I'm like, really? Dude, why even bully me in the first place? But as for Thailand, I've been studying Thailand for almost a year now, honestly. And I'm like, come on, really? He likes to bully people. Because I remember he was making fun of Billy, Undead, and TGW. And the night, TGW had a talk with Jackson as well. So, Thailand is also a bully for that. To put it out there in the public. Thank you. Yo, Thailand, bro. I mean, honestly, you need to leave YouTube. And you and Jackson, your stuff ain't good, bro. So, like, just go. You thought I was dead, huh? I'm not dead yet. The man is still around, and I know the Ender Hacker's after my son. I'm gonna get in this right here, right now. from civilization.
No sign of rescue. It doesn't matter who's in charge. We've just got to work together. A plane goes down in the middle of the ocean. There's no wreckage. Who's going to find us? They will discover more than they ever imagined. More freedom than they have ever known. Why isn't anybody getting food or wood? Man, you got to stop worrying so much. Ah! We got to make. No parents, no teachers, no academy. More power than they ever realized. Ah! I'm going to make another camp for hunters. You guys want to have a little fun. We've got to work together. We've got to take care of ourselves. What's that supposed to mean? What it means, Colonel, is that if you know what's good for you, you'll stop trying to run everything. Come on, hunters! More fear than they ever dreamed. There's something loose on this island. We did everything just to wake Bruno up to him. Flies.